now with my Tuesday trend, and it's all about sweets and desserts. Of course, after you've stuffed yourself with turkey, at least that's what I'm going to do, we need something sweet to finish it all off. So here's the thing. You want to make something easy so you can focus on time with the family or watch the Dallas Cowboys. All that good stuff. Seton Massini is the author of Sweet Envy, Deceptively Easy Desserts, designed to steal the show. Good morning, Seton. Good to see you. Hi. So happy to be here. So your book is phenomenal. A lot of the stuff you have is from scratch, but we've yes. kind of made some easy changes yes. that are deceptively fantastic. Yes, okay. the holidays are the best for baking because you get to sort of flex those baking right. muscles and try recipes you haven't done before. But this is a perfect holiday dessert. It's a mint chocolate trifle. It's delicious and we've cut Mint chocolate truffle. Yeah, trifle. Trifle. Yes, trifle. it's like the quintessential holiday dessert. Okay, let's get to and it. And we have we've did some shortcuts, so I won't tell anybody if you don't. Okay, but I won't. It, this is um, instant pudding mix oh, and right. store-bought whipped cream. Got so it. how we're going to upgrade it is add a little bit of peppermint extract. Oh, okay. So this is the peppermint extract right here. I'm going to add it to the whipped cream. You're and you go ahead and add the one to the chocolate Oh, so we pudding. add to both? Okay. Mm -hmm. And right. a little bit goes a long way. So you okay. really just, just need a, little a little bit. Just a little dot of it, right? Mm -hmm. And then okay. a little green food coloring so that everybody knows this is a minty dessert. Okay, got it. Now, one of the things I love seeing in the presentation mm -hmm. here, you have these little glasses. Yes. And one, if you have kids around the house, everyone can kind of take their own so they don't feel that they're being short, you know, like getting the short end of the stick. But it's also pretty. Yeah, everybody loves their own little serving, okay. and it, it looks great on the table. So what do we do? So we're layering it. There's okay. no wrong way to do it. This is the pudding, starting with the pudding, and then you put in the chocolate crumbles. So and go ahead are and these do that. are like any kind of chocolate cookie you yeah, like? Yeah, there's a recipe in my book for a delicious chocolate crumble, but this is just crumbled um, cookie uh, chocolate cookies. Okay, great. And then you put in a little bit of the whipped cream. All right. And then you just layer? And you layer it. There's okay. really no wrong way to do it. I love and that. So the mint chocolate leaves that adorn the top. And okay. And while I tried this for you, because you <laughs> want me to taste it, whoopie mm. pies are so yes. popular. They're nostalgic and they're back in style yes. in a lot of ways. Everybody loves a whoopie pie. And these are filled with a delicious cream cheese buttercream frosting. Okay. And this is great for when you have way too many people in your kitchen and you need to give them jobs. So just okay. say, here's a piping bag. Get okay. to work on the whoopie okay. pies. So the cookie recipe, again, in your book. Yes. But you can get your cookies. And then what's inside the inside the, the This filling? is the um, cream cheese buttercream, and you just put them together. You can mix and match. You can yeah. get the kids involved. It's just a really Cook fun. time-wise, how long will something like this take us? Because we have just well, a day to get all these. These are great because you can make the cookies in advance, and okay. you can make the frosting in advance, and then pop it, like, do it all at once when on the so day. So maybe make the cookies this the day evening before, yeah. or the day before? Mm -hmm. You can make them okay. today. You can make the frosting tomorrow. And okay. then on Thanksgiving, you can have everyone assemble their own whoopie pie, and it's sort of like oh, an that's interactive fun for kids, fun too. Yeah. I love that. Okay, and the last but not least, this coconut coconut cake. I wanted yes. you to make it my mom's favorite cake and it's very complex. It is delicious. Okay, but well, this one's easy. This this is great because whether you make my coconut cake recipe or you buy one from the store, you can always upgrade it and this is the trick. You just okay. use this chocolate coating. So take the chocolate, okay. take the spoon and this is just chocolate And this can chips. be a regular box cake yeah. with your frosting, put your coconut around the end mm -hmm. and then what do I do? So just put it okay. right on the top. Just yep, pour it. dump it right on. Oh, oh, okay. There you go, get oh in there. Gosh. It's good, this is the good stuff. This is the ooh and the ah. Okay, and just quickly, what do And we then you just sort of spoon it around and you wanna let it drip right off the sides. And this mm. is what like really will impress your guests because let's say okay. you had an incident in the kitchen. Right. You, yeah, yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> All right, Seton, there you have it, your it's box really cake, good. put the chocolate on, and then guess what? You own everyone at your house <laughs> after that. Thank you so much. Go to today.com slash food for the recipe. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.